Hey Motor One, this is Brandon Turkus, Managing Editor of MotorOne.com, and I am here with the all-new Ford Ranger. Let's take a look at what's new with this mid-size pickup truck. All right, and right away you can tell the design is a bit more masculine, a bit tougher, a bit edgier, and Ford says that is very, very much intentional. Where the last truck was designed for global audiences first and imported to America, this truck was designed with North America in mind. So you're getting more of these tougher F-150 inspired cues, which aren't necessarily as important everywhere else in the world, where this car is kind of the F-150. Now Ford will continue to offer the Ranger with a turbocharged 2.3 liter four cylinder engine, but there is also going to be an available 2.7 liter twin turbocharged V6, and if you go for the Raptor, a three liter V6. Along with that, there is a 10 speed automatic transmission on every truck. The base turbocharged 2.3 liter four cylinder continues to produce 270 horsepower and 310 pound feet of torque, but the new 2.7 liter V6, shared with the F-150 and Bronco, ups the ante considerably with 315 horsepower and 400 pound feet. The Ranger's tow rating, meanwhile, remains at a stout 7,500 pounds. That's a competitive number, but not class leading. The max available payload capacity sits at 1,805 pounds, which does exceed the limits of the redesigned Chevrolet Colorado and GMC Canyon. Two trucks that can out tow the Ranger at 7,700 pounds. Now, it's not just your eyes confusing you. This is a roomier bed than before. The new Ranger is two inches wider on the front and rear track, and Ford also moved the shock mounts and the rear shocks outboard to increase space in here. The result is that you can fit four foot wide sheets of plywood into this bed without much fuss. You can also get available charging up to 400 watts of charging. There's even a 120 volt outlet. So if you want to plug in a TV or a coffee pot, you can do that with no problem. On the tailgate, there's a ruler and there are even these little slots that you can attach clamps to. Like the exterior, the cabin is completely redesigned and Ford placed much greater emphasis on making this a roomier space. You have this low transmission tunnel here and on certain trims there, rather than this physical shifter, there's an electric shifter and you can also get a digital instrument cluster. Now this is the standard eight inch display. There's also an available 12.4 inch display and on the center stack, there is either a 10 inch touchscreen or a 12 inch touchscreen. This is the 12 inch. Both of them are running Sync 4A. At the back, there is a really clever and really simple cargo solution. Now, yes, you can flip up the rear seats. And as you can see, there's a little cubby under there for storing stuff. But if you have something bigger, the Ranger will let you do this. Pull this little tab here. And the entire back seat folds flat, giving you a perfect size shelf for a big cooler. There are even these latches here, which I don't think are meant to be tie down straps, but they can serve that purpose if you really want to. The redesigned Ranger might not look like a huge departure from the trucks that came before, but Ford has done what it always does when redesigning its trucks, focuses on thoughtful quality of life improvements. With more available power and smarter technology, Ford's middle child pickup truck is more competitive than ever before. Look for sales of the new Ranger to start in summer 2023.